everyone, it's Anita, and welcome to lesson number five. I'm really, really excited that uh, you're here with me today. Um, we're going to do a little bit different. Now that I'm getting a little bit more popular, I feel like I need to have a little bit more structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a topic for each lesson, and then we're going to paint it. That's just going to be the way it is. And we're going to incorporate art, uh, music, and movement. It's going to be very multimedia, and you're going to really enjoy it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something that's very, very serious, and that is tough economic times. Uh, I think a lot of people are really feeling the crunch, and, uh, you know, so am I. I never did any shifts at work, ever. You know, like, he, he, he calls everyone else in, but I never did any. But anyway, so that's my little rage about tough economic times. Okay, so you're going to need a lot of different brushes for this one, okay? A lot. And you are also going to need a lot of knives. Mm -hmm. Just You're going to have to have a lot of resources. And you're going to have all your paint down in front of you. And so that's good. Um, and, okay, so the first issue with regards to tough economic times that I want to talk to you about is the whole Nadia Suleman case. And, you know, I think that a lot of people are really giving her a hard time because of the choice. Oh, all right, it's my phone. Uh, oh, it's my phone. Hello? Yes, this is Anita. I <laughs> tell him I can't come into work today. I told you that I was doing my lesson. I don't. I know I want to shift, but you know I, I can't make it today. I, it does, oh my God! Hold on one second. I'm gonna. I'll just spill coffee all over myself. I'm gonna have to call you back. Okay. So sometimes you gotta do that to get people off the phone. But anyway, back to Nadia Stillman. So I think for this part of the painting, what we're going to have to do is become her. And it's almost like it's a musical. Think in a musical when she goes to the doctor's office and she says, I want to have eight more babies. I know I already have six. But that's what I want. And, you know, so that's the scene we're going to set. And we're going to do it through music like you are in a musical. Doctor, I am here. Because I want eight more babies. Do you have a husband? No. Do you have a car? No. Do you have a babysitter? No. What about health coverage? No. Then I think we should go ahead. Like, what kind of logic was that? Blue. And right angle to face and don't. And get it right in there because she is very fat now and there's a lot of kids. All right. There you go. That one is done. <laughs> okay. So the next issue that I want to talk to you about is very important as well. And it has to do with Good Friday. I have had a question as to what Good Friday means and why is it called Good Friday. And I looked it up and I thought about it really, really hard. And I took all the facts. And then I also took it with my own perception, and I mixed it in, and this is why I think we have Good Friday. Well, because Jesus died. Now, that wasn't so good for him at the time, um, but then a few days later, he rose. So I'm sure he looked back and said, well, <laughs> Friday wasn't so bad. So anyway, that's what happened there. And now, how did the Easter Bunny come into it? That old fluffy bunny delivered eggs? Well, here's the reason. Because eggs back then were a symbol of life and death, rebirth, okay? So back then they were like silver and gold and now they are chocolate. But anyway, so I think that maybe all the townspeople had all these eggs and they were going to give them out to people who were poor, tough economic times, and instead what they did was they had no way to deliver them. So this little rabbit came by and said, well, I'll deliver them, and they were like, okay, and so, he became the Easter Bunny, Old Fluffy Bunny. He's an Old Fluffy Bunny who delivers eggs. So now we are going to be him, okay? I am hopping through the forest, 
And they came across a bunch of people And we said, look, it's a body A big old fluffy, fluffy body And what should we do with the body? Put a bunch of little eggs in a basket And then we're going to ask him to deliver them to everyone in the world. And so that's how the Easter Bunny came about. <laughs> and so let's get some like cream colored white for the Easter Bunny. And you're going to be him. Hopping around. And down, 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 down. So see how that is like a musical. That's almost like dancing in a musical. So this really is multimedia. Okay, so the reason that we have musicals is because people love music. <laughs> and the reason that you put a story into a musical is because people love music with stories attached to it called musicals. So anyway, we're going to need like a big old brush, just like this one. And this is going to be a new move, okay? Across your eyes like you can't see, like it's some kind of mask. And then drop it anywhere. You have to be really kind of hold it there to get your true essence into it. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> and what else can we do about tough economic times? I know. Oh my God, I just, I just thought of it. You know what is crazy? There are still pirates over in Somalia. There are like a bunch of pirates going around like jumping on the, on the ships and like taking money and like people's, you know, possessions. I mean, that is crazy. I can't believe they are still pirates. So let's just do the final touching of the Economic Times and the Pirates and the Nadia Sulman and the Easter Bunny painting. And tribute this one to pirates. Black, get down and get it. You got it. Of her! You're gonna give me all your money! And you're gonna give me a girl over there with me! No? What's the plank? What's the plank? See, now that was a pirate. <laughs> Alright, well that was lesson number five, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I love doing it. So, lesson number six. I want your suggestions. I have had the many faces of Michael Jackson suggested to me. I have had the nativity scene, which I might wait till Christmas for that one. But anyway, keep them coming. I love hearing what you got to say. Love for any time.